Hey guys, welcome back. How's your day going so far? So far mine is going slow. Lately I've just been struggling with my depression and it gives me just like, I have zero energy, don't wanna do anything, don't wanna go anywhere. Um, even doing these videos, I'm really excited about doing them, but it's to get up the the energy and the want to to do it. Um, on top of that, I had been struggling with copyright claims on all of my videos um, from Epidemic Sound, which is the website that I use to get my music from, which is supposed to be royalty free. But come to find out, I had linked my other YouTube channel, which is a channel I don't even use. I don't upload videos or anything. I had linked it to that one. So I fixed that yesterday, linked it to the right account, and I received emails that all of the copyright claims were removed. So yay for that. So without further ado, let's get on to today's video. <music> So guys, first of all, I want to say if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other type of videos would you like me to, to do. So these are fresh green beans from my dad's garden. He gives me some every year. I snap them down, completely cook them how I like them and then after we eat some of course I freeze what's left um, you know and to just be reheated on another day um, I have found with these fresh green beans that if I don't cook them completely um, like as opposed to doing like a flash cooking of them I don't know if that's the proper words but if I don't cook it all the way and I freeze it I can't get it to come out right I just can't um, I can either snap them and freeze them uncooked or cook them completely and then freeze because then I just have to reheat them versus trying to finish the cooking process once I take them out of the freezer do you guys like fresh green beans um, I personally feel like anything from the garden tastes better than store-bought. Not everybody has access to that, unfortunately, but thankfully I do. Um, my dad has always grown a garden, and so I get everything. You know, he plants um, okra, or okra, however you say it. Um, the green beans, cabbage, potatoes, eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash. What else does he grow? Mustard greens, one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, I look forward to all those. Of course, he also grows like tomatoes and cucumbers all the regular stuff um, he does do bell peppers they tend to come out kind of small which is perfectly fine to eat but they're too small to stuff and we love stuffed bell peppers here so I have tons of cut up bell pepper in my freezer from last year so love love having access to a garden
You rinse them very well, get any dirt. They even had little rocks in the bag. So you wanna clean them very well. Um, I rinsed them really good and then I let them drain over that silver bowl while I um, cut my onions and bacon and stuff to cook them. Shake them up. <laughs> Yeah, so I let them sit and drain over that bowl while I went on to cut the onions and the bacon and stuff. Now, do y'all like onions and bacon and your green beans? I don't always do it, but it definitely adds to the flavor. And I also like to add potatoes sometimes, but I didn't do it on this day. Um... I also season them very well because you want to give them some flavor but I cook all of this I cook the onions and the bacon which you'll see in a minute um, pretty good before I even added the beans and then I just cook it down until they're the texture that I like because like I said in a previous video I do not like crunchy vegetables so once I have them at the consistency that I like, I just, you know, I mean, I always cook the majority of the liquid out. And sometimes I really love to, um, like at the end, smother them down a little bit. Every Smothering the food, I mean, browning, sauteing, cooking all the liquid out and letting it cook for a while that adds flavor to anything so um that's my favorite way to eat the green beans but sometimes we don't have the patience to wait and so we'll just eat them once they're cooked even if they still have some juice left in the pot so now i'm gonna cut up a cantaloupe to go with our food um i also have some fresh cucumbers from my daddy's garden this cantaloupe did not come from his garden this came from walmart and it was actually a good one it was um very sweet um and not hard nobody likes a crunchy hard cantaloupe right um and sometimes i just cut them in moon shapes um like big pieces and the kids can just grab them and eat them that way but um oh tasted one uh, this time i decided to just cut them into bite-sized pieces um, we ate the majority of it that night. There is a little bit left, um, and I have another one to cut. So, maybe with tonight's supper, which my nine-year-old wants pigs in a blanket. So, still sampling, I see. <laughs> they were good. It was really good. I also had some beets from my daddy's garden that were pickled with a little bit of vinegar and sliced red onions. Okay, here's the picture of my chicken and dumplings, some just canned corn, and my fresh green beans from the garden. You can see there's still juice in there, but they tasted amazing anyway. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, and um, if you did, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Hope to see you in the comments. Have a blessed day.